Hello, good evening, good morning, good afternoon, wherever you are in the world. It's so good to see you guys. Thank you very much for jumping on. Uh, let me know in the comment section below, how, where are you from? And how are you doing on this ascension path? I really look forward to hearing how everybody's doing and let me know what any type of um, issues that you may be coming across or um, blocks or stops. Okay. Today, we're going to go ahead and discuss how do we remove those programs. By now, chances are you've already worked with me, but this is something that I want you to spend some time with. So a lot of people are like, why can't you do this for me? I can do it for you. But this also is saving you money by you doing it yourself. But the really important thing is when you do it yourself, you're empowering yourself. And when you have somebody else do something for you, it doesn't stick all that wonderfully because you're not sure that it really happened. But when you do it yourself, you are your own witness and you know it happened because you did it. And it, you also realize I did it. And that's a little bit of empowerment. We're so de-empowered these days. We need to pull back need to pull into and grow our power. So thank you again for joining. My name is Wendy Morgan and I'm your spiritual mentor. I'm here to help guide you through this ascension process, give you tips and clues and um, techniques of how you can make your life better and also let you know what's going on within our environment and what we're currently experiencing. So today, like I said, we're going to learn how to remove these particular programs. Now, what I'm about to share with you, the verbiage was given to me by spirit. Uh, some of the verbiage has actually been extrapolated um, by my past trainings, but also one part is extrapolated from Dane Hur. Dane Hur is a very, very wonderful person, very warm hearted, and he has some great tips out there. And I highly recommend if you're just starting out on this spiritual journey, go ahead and check out his, I think he calls them tools. Um, he does some really good tools and highly, highly recommend him. So that being said, let's jump right into it. So Again, the verbiage that I'm going to use is the verbiage that was given to me by spirit, but it's also verbiage that I use because I believe in it. And the reason I believe in it, because I've been working with it for over 30 or three decades, 30 years. So what, first of all, I'm going to kind of go through each and every part and explain it to you. And then I'm going to have you, um, then I'm going to say it and I'm going to leave a space for you to put your program in there that you're trying to remove. And then I'll continue talking. Um, and on the comment section below, I'll say go forth, you know, two minutes or three minutes before you can get to that. So you can just go to that each and every time until you have it in your memory. Okay. So first of all, we start off saying super consciousness, super conscious, super consciousness. So the super consciousness is super to your subconscious, which is connected to your higher self and soul. It's kind of like your subconscious, but also connected to your spiritual essence. So it's kind of like hugely trumping everything. It's hitting all particular levels, but it has the power of um, divine consciousness. So we're going to say that three times to get its attention. So it's like, okay, I know I'm here. I know it's time for me to stand in charge. It's time for me to be here. Um, so we're going to work with super consciousness. And it's pretty funny because I met a woman and she also works with super consciousness and she learned it through different ways. So it's really cool that spirit speaks in many different ways. Um, so we're going to say super conscious, super conscious, super conscious. I command, ask, and pray. So a couple people I know were like, God, I feel really bad saying that I command. And it's like, honey, you are a divine being. You are very powerful divine being. The power of the creator runs through you. And through that, you can command anything that you want to command. Generally, you only can command things that affect you. And through your experience, you cannot command anybody else to go ahead and be a sweetheart. Nope, it only can govern you. So I command, ask, and pray that you pull, cancel, and remove. I think that's pretty clear. Any programs, resistance, beliefs, or experiences. Again, self-explanatory. Um, energy that supports whatever your program may be. Um, I think my previous video, I said I'm enough. So when you, dang it, I didn't say that in the last one. So when you muscle test and you want to remove something, let's say I'm enough and you get no, right? So when you remove it, you need to remove I'm enough, no. 
you don't want to uh, remove or you don't want to ask the question, um, I don't think I'm enough, right? You can't use contractions. You can't use negatives. It has to be straight because um, the brain doesn't hear contractions. Just neither do children, in case you didn't know. Um, you know, if you say, don't cross that street, all of a sudden you see little Johnny run across the street. I say, I told you not to, right? No, you said, don't cross the street. You said, you see that street? I need you to stay here, right? And street, no. <laughs> real simple, real simple. And same thing with the brain. You need to keep it real simple. So I'm enough. You get a no. So you want to remove. I'm enough. No. Okay. I hope that's clear. Uh, so anyway, so when I get to that space, then you will say, I am enough. So any energy that supports, I am enough. No. Then I'm going to continue talking. And you can remove several or a couple at a time. Absolutely. Um, then I'm going to continue talking and say, I command that it is destroyed and uncreated times a godzillion. That part's from Dane here. I really like it a lot. Um, from the, the, sorry, from the cellular level or from, yeah, from our, my cellular level of all five bodies. So all five bodies are physical, mental, emotional, spiritual, and etheric. Actually it should be etheric and spiritual. Okay. Those are the five bodies. We all carry the five bodies. After that, I say all four levels. Four levels are that a conceptual thought level levels um, that which you are programmed with from zero to 15 years of age. Um, ancestor level. We all carry physically um, genetics from, I think it's seven generations of ancestral, the 15 generations of energetic ancestral. So whatever 15 generations back that my ancestors had really programmed with momentum that has moved all the way through into my genes as, or into my cells as well. The other one is historic. So this one, if you don't feel comfortable with and you just don't have to go ahead and say it, guys, but this one is for past lives. Um, and so, yeah, that's about all I want to say about that. And the other one is the spiritual level or the soul level, which is like the ash check records. It's what your soul maybe carries through from lifetime to lifetime. Okay. And then I say past, present, and future and parallel realities. So past, present, and future, that's kind of a duh thing, right? We all kind of understand that. But parallel realities, you probably say, what? Right? Parallel realities and is is right is is kind of like an umbrella of also um, different timelines. Because we have, guys, there is an unimaginable infinity amount of possibilities for you and your life and your experience and there are parallel worlds there are parallel use it gets really crazy i don't have to really get into it all that matters is here and now but you want to, the thing is is your soul has many facets that goes into many different experiences and you want all of your experiences to benefit from the work you're doing that's what basically that's about after you say that after i state that that particular section, then you're, then I'm, you're going to give it a minute. You're going to take a deep breath and you're going to if either imagine seeing that energy move out of your body or just take a deep breath and you're going to feel it exiting your body. Okay. Um, there also is a term that you can use to program information back in. And if you're interested in programming, if we've gotten to that place, we're just using kind of the same thing, but instead of saying pull, cancel, remove, we're saying we're going to program into, um, we're going to program in beliefs, programs, and experiences. Of course, not resistances. We don't want resistances um, into the cellular level of all five bodies and moving on from there. So you can program things in, but you cannot program things like, like I cannot program in, I am worthy, yes, right? If I haven't removed, I am worthy, no, already. It's just not, it's not going to happen. It's not going to really do it. So I'm just going to give you, going through one more, give you an example. I'm trying to make this right at the 10, mark, 10 minute mark. Um, so um, super conscious, super conscious, super conscious. I command, ask and pray. You pull, cancel, remove any programs, resistance, experiences, or beliefs that support the energy of I am worthy. No, from the cellular level of all five bodies, all four levels, past, present, and future, and parallel realities now. <sighs> Thank you. It is done. It is done. It is done. It's that simple and it's gone. Okay, we're hitting on the 10 minute mark. So I'm going to do it now and leave that space for you guys. If you need more space, 
take more space. Just pause. Hi, everybody. We're going to go through now removing the programs. Super consciousness, super conscious, super consciousness. I command, ask, and pray that you pull, cancel, and remove any resistance, programs, beliefs, or experiences that support the belief of I command that this, be that this be destroyed and uncreated times a godzillion from the cellular level of all five bodies and all four levels, past, present, and future, and parallel realities now. Thank you. It is done. It is done. It is done. That simple. That was not even a minute, guys. Okay. So you can use this as many times as you want. If you don't feel a release, afterwards come back and recheck. Do am I I am worthy? Yes. Okay. If you still get a negative, then that means that's not the bottom card. And you always want to ask when trying to remove programs, is that the bottom card? I hope you found this very, very helpful. Please leave a thumbs up and comments below as to how. Let me know, seriously, if this was not clear, let me know so I can record it differently. Thanks again, guys. Bye-bye.